In this installment of Diecast Emporium, we're going to take a look at another of the DCP by First Gear LPG Tanker trailer offerings. Specifically, this is the 164 scale DCP by First Gear Peterbilt 359 flat top sleeper with Mississippi LPG tandem axle tanker trailer. The truck is black and maroon, and the trailer is mostly white. The item number for this one is 60-1146, and at the time of this video's publication, you can pick up one of these sets for just under $100 US. From my friends at the Construction Diecast Store, as always, there will be a link to them in this video's description. So if you feel you need one of these in your life, all you have to do is click on that link. It'll take you straight to this model's listing on their website. All right, let's get on with the unboxing. Let's not waste any more time. You guys by now know the style of packaging that these first gear and DCP trucks models, at least in 164 scale, come in. The clear window style, you see DCP, you see 164 scale, you know the mural that comes on the back. Really, the only thing that's different is, of course, the item number and the description here on the bottom. So again, we went over that very quickly for those that may be new. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. Also, by now, you should know that it comes in two plastic pull-apart formers that are usually taped. I have already taken the time to cut those tapes to save us just a bit of time. There were four on this set. Taking off the top of the plastic former allows us to get to the model. Here's our trailer. Here is our Peterbilt. And the last thing that is in the box, a little bit hard to see, but it is right here is a spare set of mirrors, should you need them for any particular reason. Okay, let's quickly go over some model dimensions. I know there's a lot of collectors that frequently ask that I try to include these in the videos. So the weight of the set together truck and trailer is just over two pounds, the width four inches, height four inches, and depth with the truck and trailer connected is slightly over 15 inches. Let's begin with the details on the tractor portion of the set, the Peterbilt 359 with the flat top sleeper. I believe this is a 36 flat top sleeper. Overall, my opinion, I'm not a huge fan of this color combination. I think it looks a little bit dull and it's not too terribly attractive, but um, there are some people that like this kind of... Uh, less than vibrant we should say color scheme it is a very dark black it is a very dark maroon color there is a lot of chrome used on it as you can see with items such as the exhaust stacks and the fender well covers and obviously the chrome wheels looking at the front you can see the peterbilt grill i want to point out that i do like this quite a bit i do like that there's lights which are done with decals on the bottom of the bumper that stands out looks quite good you can see your orange turn indicators your peterbilt grill peterbilt logo more chrome is used for the visor the mirrors here's what the top of the model looks like if you'd like to see what that looks like diamond plated texturing back here which is pretty much covered up with just chrome on the back of the truck you can see that the chassis for the most part where the fifth wheel is that is all maroon and down here on the mud flaps you can see peterbilt there's a bit of chrome at the bottom and a little bit of DOT striping. Maybe you can make that out. It is hard to see at the very, very top of the mud flaps. Again, I like that quite a lot. Looking at the detail of the chassis of the truck, there you go. That's what it looks like. You can see the tread pattern on the wheels in the back and on the wheels in the front, and the overall detail on the chassis of the truck. All right, let's transition now quickly to the trailer. Here is your LPG trailer gotta say again out of the three that i have reviewed using this particular trailer to me this is probably the one that looks the most blah for lack of a better term um but it does have your 1075 your uh your warning placard obviously and under that it reads uh, liquefied petroleum gas which is 1075 here at least in the states uh, you do have a decal on the landing legs there's a couple of painted on lights here and a couple more towards the front of the trailer. Here's the detail on the back. You can see that this part is black and not white. There's some lights up on top, some silver stripes here, two on each side 
fire extinguisher. I do like these lights at the back. And then um, you're obviously your DOT or your visibility striping here. And the same style mud flaps minus the Peterbilt logo is present on the back of the trailer. For continuity sakes, let's take a look at the right side of the trailer. A lot of this is the same. There is some casting detail changes that is different on the right side versus the left side. Um, obviously, all of your piping and stuff is different. Looking at the front of the trailer, we have another 1075 warning placard. Uh, different details here. So that is the detail of the truck and trailer. Let's move on now to functionality. Let's start off with the tractor or the truck's functionality. It is a rubber tired vehicle, obviously. So it should roll well enough, and it does. It features working steering. Again, it is notched rather than variable, so it will click into a number of predetermined positions. Because of the design of the fender wells or the, the, the flares on the fender, it does seem to clash a little bit. So you're not gonna get the greatest steering angle even in 164 scale, but something is always better than nothing. So working steering, A plus, we love to see that. What we don't like to see is the fact that the doors don't open and that would always be a good thing to include in a model because the detailing of the interior of the truck is actually pretty well done. You just can't see it very well. The last bit of functionality on the truck is the opening hood. So let's do that now. And it opens to a very good angle. So you can see all of the different mechanical components, most notably the motor or the engine. That's the truck. Let's move straight onto the trailer before we connect the two. Probably the most intriguing working function on this trailer. Uh, we know the wheels are gonna roll, obviously that's one feature but it's really the landing legs. So you can screw these down. They're literally a screw. So to drop these down, if you wanted the trailer to sit by itself, you literally unscrew these, or conversely, you can go counterclockwise to raise them back up if you wanted to sit this comfortably behind your uh, tractor truck. So that's what I'm doing now. So we're gonna put these all back up. That is pretty much it for trailer functionality. So for the last part of this video, let's join truck and trailer together so you get a full view of what this set looks like. There's our trailer. Let's now join the two of them together. Drop the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel on the tractor. And just like that, you now have a full set to display on your shelf or in your glass display case. Overall, this is a great truck to add to your collection if you want to pick up one of these LPG um, type tanker trailers. They are certainly different enough that if you put it next to a standard gas tanker, uh, certainly they are absolutely not the same type of trailer. So it will add a little bit of diversity to your 164 scale trucking collection. I don't think, in my humble opinion, this is the most attractive color scheme that is available with these sets, but if you have to have a Peterbilt 359 flat top sleeper, then obviously this would be the set to go with. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching my videos. If you take a look at your screen right now, there will be a couple more suggested links of DCP truck reviews that I have done recently. So thank you all again for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, be well. I will catch you in the next review.